Welcome back everyone to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. My name is Katie Fredrickson and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Marina one piece which is a fully reversible one shoulder one piece. To make this one piece you will need fabric, elastic, a cutting tool, a seam ripper, and of course the pattern for the Marina one piece. To purchase the PDF pattern for the Marina visit the link in the description or go straight to edgewateravenue.com. Since this pattern is asymmetric, you won't be able to cut on the fold. So today I have the full pattern assembled. So first we'll cut our pieces, cutting two of the front piece and two of the back piece. Since this pattern is asymmetric, you'll want to make sure you flip the pattern piece if you're using a lining fabric that has a distinct right side. Otherwise the pattern will not match up. To avoid making this mistake, Sometimes I'll just place the pieces I cut face down on my lining fabric. Now match up your front and back pieces with right sides together. Sew along the following areas I'm tracing and attach elastic to the same areas. Once you've sewn all your seams and attached elastic, take your back piece to the right side. Insert the back piece inside of the front piece. Then line up the sides, the gussets, and the shoulder straps. There should be four layers of fabric. Pin these and sew. Sometimes it can be tricky sewing through four layers of fabric while trying to keep everything from slipping around. Because of this, I like to first sew the inner two layers with a straight stitch. Once I sew the inner layers, I'll then sew across all four layers to attach the sides, gussets, and the shoulder straps. I do this for one pieces, but I also do it for tops, bottoms, and anything else. Now that you've sewn the sides, the shoulder strap, and the gussets, the front piece will be attached to the back. Using a seam ripper, create a one inch hole somewhere along an existing seam. I like to put it in a discreet place, so this time I'm putting it kind of under where the armpit would be. Through this hole, take the entire piece to the right side. As a final step, finish off the hole we made with either an invisible stitch or a top stitch. And here is the final Marina one piece. Thank you very much for watching this video. As a reminder, you can find the pattern for the Marina One Piece linked in the description. If you liked it and you want to show some support, I really recommend checking it out. But of course, I'm biased. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.